Good day from here from the Svelte of Africa. One thing about the thing about CO2 is the only cause of climate change. It's like saying water and salt makes a soup. It doesn't make any sense when there's a, a, such a amazing amount of variables within that itself. And the one it shows you, the, the people in this uh, extinction exterior and then climate exterior, anyone says crisis, crisis, is having an hysterical moment, hysteria, moment of hysteria, mass panic, whatever it is in these people's heads. But that's not what it's really all about. Someone stirring them up to disrupt society and destroy Western society because all, all of them all ignore the fact that OPEC keeps pumping as much oil as ever. I mean, there's been more and more cars on the road than ever. Every day, people go to showrooms of my cars. There's not one car manufacturer. Yes, some manufacturers are making electric cars and good on them. What a beautiful thing to have. But no one can afford an electric car, and all the second-hand cars, what are petrol and diesel cars, why are they suggesting they all get scrapped and the billions and billions of dollars, trillions and trillions of dollars to scrap all the petrol cars and diesel cars, what people have just bought in a few years' time? I mean, it's preposterous. And when, anyway, all of the logistics of that obviously makes no sense, and it's impossible to complete and do by anyone, government or not, whatever. The only way to do that is to come smashing the planet and disintegrate everything. Then it will get rid of all the cars. But there's something you can notice about the extinction hysteria people. It's extinction hysteria, right? That's what it is. And they don't know if they don't understand much about the ancient past of the Earth and how extinctions have come about. But that's by the by. Obviously, they are very ignorant people. If they don't even know about OPEC, then they're pretty dumb. There's none of, the, none of the women you fancy, you, there aren't any of the women you think, well, I'll have that as a wife. You, there's, not, there's not one woman yet in that Extinction Rebellion. They've seen and said, well, I fancy her. I don't think she's young. You know, and you say, well, I fancy her. Not one of the pathetic specimens of women. I'm not being rude. They're not sexy. They're, you know, they're totally... Well, they don't turn you on. They're not going to turn on by them. Maybe, you know, maybe in the dark, when you're drunk, maybe. But they're not people you think, well, I'll make a good wife. I won't, I'd like to leave air with my children. No, we'll we, we make children. I'd like to leave air, look after the babies, nappies and all that. You know, cook, make sure the kids are all fed. You couldn't do that with any of them. You couldn't do that with any of them. So they're actually useless as wives. And they're useless as people. Forget about being women. The woman, so I'll go along with gentle and neutral. Originally, because I'm from Yorkshire, where my you know, where was a gender-neutral household. Anyway, naturally, because I didn't see any inequality in the household. Mum was equal to my dad in every aspect. But, and that's a, just a natural understanding. But these uh, females who are involved, I haven't seen one involved in this climb, in this extinction exterior that you fancy. They look like good heavens. What is that? And I think that's what the problem is. I'm not. We'll talk about the black men in a minute. The men that look, you couldn't take any of the men onto a building site and let's go, let's go and build a house or let's go and build something with this material. You couldn't. They all go, oh, my hands are dirty. Oh, I've got my hands are dirty. My mummy, I want my mummy. That's the type of people doing the extinction rebellion, and they're the ones who's going to become extinct because they're weak, and you're not going to breed with them. No one's going to breed. Only the weakest people. Oh, well, they're the weakest specimens of humanity I've ever seen. If they do breed, they just breed weaker among, among, among themselves and bring... What sort of kids will they bring up? These people are pathetic, what, 25 or whatever year old, or 20 year old. And they're like tiny children, they've got infantile minds. So if they have kids, they're going to pass on this infantile mind to the children. Now, that's the point. It's obviously all these people in this extinction rebellion, extinction exterior, I call it, have had this rather infantile, a 16 year old, you ought to be working or looking forward to getting married or something like that. No, no, they're like infants. Greta Garbo, whether she's Greta Thunberg, speaks like an infant. 16 year old a few years ago, they'll get married and so off, people having children and getting on with them, are robust, strong people. So there aren't any of these people you say, oh, let's go right, like Francis Drake or Captain Cook or Queen Elizabeth I, or even Queen Elizabeth II, wonderful stoic woman. 
any of these people, you couldn't say, let's go and have an expedition into Africa with them. Because you what? You'd end up eating them. Or the natives, you sell them to the natives. You sell these people to the natives for food because they'd be useless. They'd be used to be crying, oh, it's hot, oh, I can't stand the weather. Because that's what they're, they're protesting about, the weather. I mean, pro we don't want the weather, we want the perfect weather. I mean, what? But that's the crux of it. Now, to pretend that women aren't jealous of each other, when it comes to men and stuff like that, and property and, uh, and material being and status and all that, is absolute nonsense. There's no equality amongst women. There might be a sort of, I don't know why they get the idea of equality amongst women. There's more equality amongst men than there is women in a different way, because women are very, very competitive amongst each other for, for men and for, for the status. That's why I spend so much money on clothes. You know, all the shops are there to cater to the women wanting to spend some money to give them more status or whatever. You know, that's all consumerism. Or in a nutshell, all these people are consumers. And, and, and they said, oh, we want to, what, uh, I don't know what they want, actually. No one, not one of them said what, described in detail the result of what their demands are. No one said, we want these demands, but not one. Other than, you might get better weather. It's so nefarious and spurious, it's just ridiculous. We might get better weather, so we want you to ground all planes, except film stars planes. Now, <laughs> the, the, the stupidity of that is immense. But that's it, you see. These people, if you look at these guys who are doing this protest, uh, extinction exterior, you couldn't take them on a building site. They're pathetic people. They're not even, most of them don't even have a job. Don't even look for a job. Oh, we've got a job now. Stopping weather, the weather changing. Well, that's a good job. I would have liked a job like that when I was young. What job do you want to do, son? You want to be a carpenter or a bricklayer or a mechanic? No, I want to stop the weather changing. I want the job where I go and drew myself to the road and to stop the weather changing. That's the job I want. Well, it's a good job if you can get it. If it pays as well, well, you know, you paid to glue to yourself the road and stop the weather changing. What a, what a rocket. What did you do? Sir? What did you do when you were younger? Oh, I tried to stop the weather changing. Right, okay, uh, all right. And these people are not in an asylum? Never mind locking them up and charging them. They should be in an asylum, they're nutters. And the thing is that what they're not about is they're pathetically weak people that spent their lives in their bedrooms tweeting. That's about as much as they've done. They're pathetic, skinny little arms and really weak looking people. Pathetic. You couldn't go around the world with Francis Drake. What would he do with them? He'd kill all the lot. They'd be useless. It'd be useless, absolutely useless on anything what was useful and practical or exploring or great endeavour. These people are pathetic and that's the extinction because I think that's what it is. If this is a deep cynicism of someone saying, look, extinction, rebelling, extinction, they're displaying into the world. Somehow someone's got to program them with the Twitters and they've come to come out and say, well, you know, Extinction, and it's a sarcasm because someone's saying, well, these are the people that are going to become, their genet genetic line is going to become extinct. And that's what it is, because I haven't seen one woman, and if you look at it like that, all the women who are not into this climate bullshit, into this extinction exterior, are usually sexy women. They're beautiful, in America, beautiful, sexy, organically, wonderful, biological women. And you think, well, they're gorgeous, and you fancy them. So they're confident about getting a man, because of all men fancy them. These women, well, men don't pick them up at the bars and they don't fancy them, so they're getting pissed off with the rest of society because the pretend women don't. It really, really makes so little sense and it just shows you there's no understanding of the history of women. The true history of women is manipulating society to its own end, so it, it, it benefits that of its sons. But these people, this is different. These are women who are pathetically jealous of the rest of society and especially normal women with normal men who fancy each other for a bit of whoopee whoopee and that's what's wrong with these people if you look at them no man very few men would go near these women a man who wants a wife and to make children and someone who will look after the children in a proper way in a traditional way well Oh no, you couldn't, you couldn't trust them to leave them home with the kids because they've been indoctrinating the kids into bullshit. 
Oh, well, come on, children. We're all going to be extinct soon. What's that? To, what is that to tell a child? What's that to tell children? We're going to be extinct, children. What is that to tell children? I bet that's in a nutshell. Forget all the climate. Forget everything else. This is deeply personal in these poor people's uh, minds and hearts. They think they're weak. Women, no one fancies them because, yeah, not being funny, but no one does. And the blogs look pathetic. I said you couldn't put a hole in the end, so you make a garden because they absolutely no, no. We we just want we demand you hole the garden. These people are all demanding. Everyone does the hoeing in the garden and feed them. And that's what they're doing. So saying to that, Daddy, get me a takeaway food tonight, or I'm going to scream the house down. That's the type of people now demanding action on climate change. They want everyone to make action while they just demand it. It's called the baby bird syndrome. Well, you know, the little baby birds sit in the nest and squawk from one of the birds, put the maggots and the grubs into their mouth. That's what these people are like. Baby bird. It's called the baby bird syndrome. And that's what they suffer from. The infantile. They're insane, they think that they're never going to get a decent sexual partner and that is what's wrong with most of them. And that's why the extinction event is in your face saying look, they, all these people are going to be extinct, their genetic line is going to be extinct, their genetic capital is, they haven't got any genetic capital. What's their genetic potential to go on breeding another great race of people? It's just not there. And that's biology for you. And that's evolution. That's, that's evolution for you. You know, Darwin's theory of evolution, survival of the fittest. That's what that is. Thank you.